Hello there, this is Xiao, and this is another episode of Vox FX. Today I'll be explaining manual pitch correction and showing how to pitch correct a vocal. For those who are new, please go check out my tutorial on pitch shifting. And remember that if you're lost, check the tutorial archive. So let's get started. Pitch correction. A vocalist's main focus on recording day is delivering a knockout performance. They've practiced, they know their part well, and they sing with passion and enthusiasm. It's beautiful. But vocalists are often so focused on performing that they don't notice the little problems that creep in. They might move too close or too far from the mic. They might be too loud or too quiet. And they might even sing a few notes out of tune. This is normal. The first two issues are easily fixed with a compressor. But what about singing out of tune? If the problem is bad enough, the vocalist should sing sing the line over again. But if it's only a few sour notes here and there, it's not worth the effort to record another time. Like I said in the video on recording tips, your vocalist will get tired after three or four full takes. It's not worth the trouble to push beyond that just for the sake of pitch problems. Plus, if you're on a tight schedule, you might not even have time to make another recording. So how do you fix the problem? Enter pitch correction. Pitch correction, as the name implies, allows you to fix any pitch problems with a vocal without re-recording. Compared to other forms of effects processing, pitch correction is rather new. It only became available in the mid-90s with the advent of affordable computers. Nowadays, pitch correction plugins are common in most DAWs. It's definitely one of the more controversial vocal effects, but I'll get into that in a later video. There are many tools that can correct the pitch of a vocal, but most of them fall into two categories post-process or manual pitch correction, which we'll be talking about today, and real-time or automatic pitch correction, which I'll talk about in another video. Pitch correction is a valuable tool in your arsenal. It can fix problems with an otherwise stellar performance and give your vocal some extra polish. Let me show you. So here we have a vocal with an instrumental. Sound opening my ears And I begin to hear My world in a new way It leaves me speechless Endless possibility Beyond what I can see I learn more every day The world is seamless now the vocal already sounds pretty good. It's balanced well, and I applied an EQ, a compressor, and a de-esser. But there are a few notes that are a little out of tune. To fix that, we use pitch correction. I'll be using New Tone, ImageLine's manual pitch correction plugin. Many DAWs have their own similar plugin. If yours doesn't, there's always the ever popular Melodyne. All these plugins work pretty much the same way, so you should be able to follow along with your own. So first, take your pre-recorded vocal and import it into your pitch correction plugin. Here's the vocal. Sound opening my ears and I And we import it, and then it analyzes the audio file and generates this graph. Let's break this down. The white waveform in the background represents the volume of the audio. This waveform is chopped up into pieces based on the pitch of the audio at that point. The orange box around that piece represents the average pitch of that piece. The shaded area, like this here, shows the nearest semitone to the average pitch, and the line shows the precise pitch at any given point. So now that we know what we're looking at, let's see what this plugin can do. If you can, use the playback sync control, which makes the plugin follow along when you press play. And we'll turn off the original vocal. Sound opening my ears and Much easier to pitch correct if you can hear the music in the background. I'll keep it off for now. Sound opening my so for starters, you can adjust a note's pitch by clicking and dragging it up and down. As you can hear, it plays the note aloud as you adjust, so that you can hear what you're doing. It also says what note the pitch is currently closest to. Notice that it's snapping the note to the nearest semitone. 
There should be some sort of override if you want more precise pitch control. In Newtone's case, it's holding down the Alt key. Or if you want to lock the average pitch to the nearest semitone, you can do so per note by right clicking or by using this center knob. First, Control Z is undo. And opening my ears. And opening my ears. It's subtle, but it's there. You can change the amount of pitch variation in the notes. In new tone, that can be done globally with this knob. More. And opening my ears. Or less. And opening my ears. And opening. You go pretty low, actually, basically flat. And opening my ears. You can also do it individually using the advanced options and using this variation control down here. You can also change the note transition speed using this knob, which controls how quickly it changes from note to note. As you can see, it's a lot faster now. Sound opening my ears. Makes it sound more blippy. If you want more precise control over note placement, you can slice notes into smaller pieces using the cut tool, this one up here. See, these are now cut in half. You can also adjust the timing of each of these notes by stretching or squashing them left or right. Let's see how this sounds. Sound opening my sound. Sound open. As you can see, it can create some pretty wild effects. There may be many other tools in your pitch correction plugin, but I won't get into those here, except for one formant control. Many pitch correction plugins let you control the formant size separate from the pitch. Let me just control A real quick. And now if we just change these, change the pitch of everything. Sound opening my ears. You can hear that the formant size has not changed. But we can change the formant size using the advanced options. Independent of the pitch. Sound opening my ears. And I begin to hear my world in a new way. It leaves me speechless. Endless possibility beyond what- There. Pretty wild. Okay, so now that I've demoed each of the tools, let's actually pitch correct this vocal. Make sure your background track is playing and that your vocal is loud enough to hear it over the rest of the mix. Turn this off, turn this on. Sound opening my ears And I begin to hear my world in a new way. That should be good. Loud enough that, sh that you can hear it and still compare it to everything else. Then what you want to do is go through note by note and listen to hear if any of the notes sound off to you. It doesn't have to be perfect. Indeed, it probably shouldn't be. But it shouldn't be out of tune enough to be distracting. Use any of the tools that I've mentioned to do this and trust your ears more than your eyes. Now, I'm going to pitch correct this real quick. This control lets you change the ramp up or ramp down. Thank <laughs> you. 
That wasn't good. Okay, so now that it's pitch corrected to my liking, I'm going to render it out so that we can hear it with all the effects. Here's our new track. Sound opening my ears and I begin to Sound opening my ears Now it's volume set correctly. Sound opening my ears And I begin to hear My world in a new way It leaves me speechless Endless possibility Much better in my opinion. Now there's one last thing to keep in mind with manual pitch correction. Go easy on it. Don't apply too much, for two reasons. First, too much tuning removes a lot of the expressiveness that comes from the variations in a vocalist's performance. It sounds unnatural, too perfect to be real. Second, all pitch correction plugins introduce glitches or artifacts into the recording. The more processing you apply, the more artifacts appear. Let me show you. So we've selected everything, and we are going to dramatically change it. Not only has the pitch and variation changed, but there are all these weird, woofy, whispery noises. It sounds really messy. So if you want a tuned yet natural sounding vocal, then try to make as few changes as possible. Anyway, that's all I wanted to cover here. If you want to see more of my stuff in the future, please subscribe. If you have any questions about manually pitch correcting vocals, comment below. I'm always open for questions. And as always, if you'd like to request a VoxFX tutorial, please send me a message. Remember, if it's talky, I can talk about it. Next time, I'll be using manual pitch correction to create the wooden toaster voice. Finally, I know you guys have been waiting a really long time for this. Until then, have fun and keep making sound. So first, make sure your background track is playing, and that's your... God dang it, Ed, go away. Go away! There we go.